Today we begin a new series on electricity and in this series, this specific video, we shall be addressing a few key definitions that we shall be encountering throughout the series as we explore this topic, current electricity. Thanks for tuning in, it's Kisembo Academy. So we shall begin with the first key definition, electric current. Electric current is the rate of flow of electric charges around the circuit. If Q is the quantity of charge that is passing a point, then it means that what we are talking about their current is equal to the rate of flow of electric charges. And we are representing these electric charges as Q over T. These electric charges are in coulombs. And this is in seconds. So in other words, uh, this current is the rate of flow of electric charges which charges are in coulombs per second and the current SI unit is the ampere that brings us to the second key definition what exactly is an ampere? an ampere is current that is flowing through the point in a circuit if the charge of one coulomb per second flows through the point so if the, coulomb, the, the charge flowing is one coulomb in one second so the charge that is flowing one coulomb per second is what we are calling the ampere that is one version of the definition there is another version of the definition for an ampere and it rotates around this you have two wires these two wires have to be infinitely long they have negligible cross-sectional area and the distance between them is one meter an ampere is that current which when flowing in each of two infinitely long this is important the two wires have to be infinitely long parallel straight wires of negligible cross-sectional area they must have a negligible cross-sectional area separated by a distance of one meter in a vacuum produces a force of two times ten to the power negative seven newtons per meter between the wires so that's the second definition of an ampere. Let's get to the next key definition. And here we are looking at the potential difference. Potential difference is the work done in moving a coulomb of electricity charge between two points in an electric circuit. You might have a wire like that and you're probably having charges that are traveling within the wire. The work done in moving one charge from this point to that point is what we are calling potential difference between those two wires. So that means that the potential difference between two points in a circuit is one volt. If the work done to move one coulomb of charge between the two points is one joule. And in this case, the unit of potential difference is the volt. Let's get to the next key definition, electromotive force. Electromotive force is the potential difference between the terminals of a cell or battery. When, it is not when a cell or current. battery is not giving off current, it is considered to be on an open circuit. So when a cell is on an open circuit, the potential difference between its ends is what we are calling the electromotive force. And getting to the next key definition the terminal pd or the terminal potential difference the terminal potential difference is simply the potential difference between two terminals of a cell when it is in a closed circuit let's take the difference this is the diagram of a cell here a cell is let's say there's a resistor here here a cell is in a closed circuit when a cell is in a closed circuit it means that it is current is flowing out of it so it is in a closed circuit when it is in an open circuit it means that no current is flowing out so when no current is flowing out of a cell the potential difference across the ends of that cell is what we are calling the, uh, the electromotive force of that cell now when you connect this cell to a circuit and now current is flowing out of that cell then it means that the potential difference between those two terminals of a cell when it is in a closed circuit is the terminal potential difference 
So the terminal potential difference is given by the electromotive force minus the, the potential drop across the internal resistance of a cell. We'll look at it a bit later about the internal resistance of a cell. Get to this. Resistance is simply the opposition to flow of current. And the SI unit for resistance is the ohm, denoted by that. So what exactly is an ohm? The ohm is the resistance of a conductor that that's having a current of 1 ampere flowing through it with a potential difference of 1 volt across its ends. Why are metals good conductors of electricity? Metals are good conductors of electricity because they have free moving electrons. Those and maybe some more we shall encounter along the way. But for now those are some of the key definitions that we shall be encountering very often as we are doing this series of electricity. And as such, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share this video and for more videos, please subscribe. Please like our Facebook page at Kisembo Academy Video Tutorials or follow us on Twitter at Kisembo Academy. For the Kisembo Academy, this is Arnold Rangakuramia. Catch you in the next video.